Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 114 of my Direwolf 20.18 Let's Play where I have been extremely busy <laughs> setting up all this stuff that <laughs> resetting up all this stuff anyway uh, to try and get it organized a little bit better. I do like it. Check it out. I I moved all this stuff out of the middle and put it around the edge. I like how it looks. I had to reset up my uh, crafting terminal here. Yeah, I had to take him out and plop him back into the security terminal once I moved everything, but that was easy peasy. <laughs> I like it. And I got an extra <clears throat> import bus. <clears throat> It's going to be handy dandy when I try to move stuff over into here. Um, yeah, I do like that I cleaned this area up a little bit. And it was okay, but I don't know. This feels a little bit more open. And I haven't actually set this guy up all the way. <laughs> I just got this place down and I was working on setting up all the, the laser IO nodes. Uh, so I figured I'd let this thing build up some more sand uh, while, <laughs> while I did something else. Um, yeah, it's still full at the moment. So everything's just full. Uh, I still got all these uh, filters that I got to deal with. I got a new system that I want to put into place to, uh, to make concrete because I haven't actually built. Concrete was added in Minecraft versions ago. <laughs> I don't know which, but it was quite a long time ago and I still don't use it regularly because of uh, how you have to, I don't know, to in order to automate it, you basically just left and right click and you have something in your main hand and something in your off hand and it's just like, oh, it's a nightmare. But with modded, you should be able to do it pretty easily because they have a fluid encapsulator and I can just feed this water and send the concrete powder in there and it will make the concrete for me. I have an auto crafting system to make make the powder for you and then just automatically ship it into the fluid encapsulator. It's handy dandy. That's what I, I want to get working on. But I was uh, trying to hook everything up. Uh, I still don't, I need to move this guy back, uh, and set these up. I need to set these up. I just, I, oh man, it takes so long to get everything moved. Don't realize, but it does. Um, when I was playing around with this uh, after afterwards, I figured out uh, what I was doing wrong and Jake mentioned it too. Hey, hey, what are you doing on... This is cannot be tolerated. What? I am offended. You little turd. Um, yeah, he's small right now. Is he? Um, oh, he teleported away. I think pretty far away. Over there. Oh. I don't know where he's at, but I don't think he can get back over here. I hear him. Oh, there he is. Oh, he died. I wonder why that one wasn't showing up. I didn't see it. I don't know. But anyway, uh, check this out. This is what I was doing. Um, over here, <laughs> this one is placed correctly. It is inside a tunnel for P2P. It's not actually part of the network. This one works perfect. Um, over here though, let's see. 
Yeah, I got some. I got some more controllers. Uh, so if I set this one down, you can see <laughs> it's outside of uh, the tunnel. This is where the tunnel is. Uh, so that's part of the network, and that's why it wasn't working for me. Uh, so I should be able to place the controllers down, but it has to be inside the tunnel. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, it's kind of too late, uh, because I already set this stuff up. This, this controller network down here is just being powered. It's not actually part of anything. Uh, so I don't know, I don't know why it's connected here and still functioning though. I think it's because I haven't, I don't have these peer-to-peer -peer tunnels set up. If I did, it would see it as this is outside, <laughs> uh, and then it would go and die. Uh, so yeah, I just have that down there right now. It's not actually working. Uh, I, I honestly don't know why this is um, not kicking it off these cables being connected right there all of them all the way around to me that would uh that would trigger it and shut it down but it's not so <laughs> i'm okay with it <laughs> um all right there we go so i'm really i'm really really happy with this area i did not like how it was all jumbled up together this is much much better so i'm probably gonna try and uh, since i've already redone this bottom area to a different way i might just keep it like it is and then uh as i move up i will try to re-implement this because i like it <laughs> and and see how that goes so yeah uh, pretty cool um i'm still i'm still working out how i want to do this like i may even flip this over and put it on the inside over here which is kind of what i really want uh but i would definitely want to move this stuff away i don't know two three i don't know three blocks might be plenty of a pathway around here um i would definitely like to keep it open or maybe glass over there That'd be kind of cool uh, yeah i hope uh, i'm gonna reset these up but i think i'll do that off camera because uh it's it's i've already done it uh i did it over in my dyer factory it's not really anything different um just uh relocated <laughs> so yeah it's gonna be just uh resetting all that stuff up uh but what i do need to do is if i want to expand my network to go all the way up to the tippity top uh, i'm gonna need more wool check this out this is in this is control g this is my refined storage system uh, <laughs> and this is all the wool that i have left uh i did now i do have like quite a bit of cable on me i have uh, a you know, 59 dense cable and more than a stack of the smart cables and i think i have have a couple hundred over here that i keep pulling out yeah i just have a like a little bit of cable in here still i can like undie those oh this is something that i don't 
mentioned was having this color applicator. I did get this because I want to paint my cables. Um, the only bad thing is I don't have all the colors. Um, I don't. Can you uh, see this? I think I might be able to see the inventory if I put it in here. Maybe. No. I thought there was some way you could see the inventory of it. Uh, I'm not sure, but you can see it's got six different types. Um, and that was all from my AE system or my refined storage system. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing over there? Come here. Um, From the mob system, uh, these are the six dyes that I was getting from the mob system. Yellow, not a whole lot of yellow. Uh, green, red, purple, orange, and cyan. Now, technically, um, I guess I could just get some bone meal and turn it into white dye. And then I could have uh, white dye and have seven colors. So that would be kind of cool too. Um, yeah, so I know, um, Jake mentioned something that I could paint these and have different colors. And yes, that was, uh, something that I was definitely thinking about because I have a way that I can paint them on go. So I think, uh, do I remember how to use, I think it's shift, uh, mouse wheel scroll <laughs> if you scroll the mouse wheel you can scroll through the different colors on your applicator so let me see that's a little bit dark over there to see it this is like orange red green purple cyan yellow orange so that's kind of cool um i don't know how I know if I color them, the colored ones will not match up with the normal one, but the color one, no, the color ones will match up with the normal ones, but not other colored ones. And that's how you get to keep the colors from uh, interacting with each other. So like I could paint this one red and everything's fine. The, it, it stays connected. Boop, boop, boop. And then have this one be green. Ooh. Um, but I don't know if I was going to paint it, it would be totally for, uh, looks. I think, uh, so I don't know what would be a good color. Um, I was thinking of, uh, since I'm going to do the concrete powder, I was going to replace, uh, the floor with this green concrete powder uh, to sort of emulate like the color of a PCB. <laughs> you know, just make it feel like this is a just a giant circuit. <laughs> that's, that's my plan. Uh, I just want it to feel like it's just a giant computer down here because, you know, really it is. Uh, and I, I kind of like that. So I think, you know, I could have some walkways around here that are the concrete powder and then some glass around the edges so I can uh, still see down. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I think I would not be able to get down here if I shut this off because I still haven't installed all of the elevators to get to the different levels. Um, was thinking of putting them like you know, right outside of the chunk boundaries, just so I'm not using up my precious room over here in my chunks. Oh man, this is like the best view. Look at that. I love this. You can see the turbines in the back. You see the main brain and some of the wiring coming off in an orderly fashion. Oh, 
That looks amazing. Just amazing. I love it. <laughs> oh, I have not... Uh, I did... I did check it out. I uh, Jake made a comment that, uh, you know, I could have just put my my ring of flight right in here and charged it up <laughs> it'd been good to go uh but i didn't think of that uh so i zipped over to my dire factory and then just threw my ring in here uh oh this has four million rf i thought it only had five hundred thousand rf but my ring soaked it up and you know hardly had anything in it after oh, wait I'm uh, yeah, because it can hold 16 million. So yeah, it only was had like a quarter in it. Uh, but that was enough to get me uh, back down there. I grabbed the little doodad to wirelessly charge the controller and set that up. Uh, and then I did come in and I threw my armor in uh, a couple of times until it got pretty full and then it finally topped it off and started filling up my uh my other doodads over here which mainly is um this guy who can hold 12 million rf which doesn't seem like a lot now that i have this armor on uh but yeah it, it works so good with that Ooh. So what I want to do is maybe, um, which, hey, what are you doing here? I don't know which um, level I would want to put something on. Oh man, I love it that I got all this cleared out all the way up to the top. Look what that Enderman did. Oh, I can't wait to start putting stuff in here. I want to, I think I put maybe um, plants and stuff up here where it's near the edge, the, the surface. I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe because it's not as tall as the other ones and I shouldn't need a lot of headspace for plants. So, look at that. I got grass down here too. That's whack. So I think maybe, where's the iron level? Aha, here it is. Here's the iron level. This is where I'm going to put um, like my mob farm. Because this is where my mob farm was before. So I don't need to put it here, but it would be nice. Um, to have it there so maybe i will put the animals like up here i'm not really ready for it but i need to get the wool coming in just badly bad so let's try to do something with that oh there's a new mod that i want to check out it's not really a new mod i guess um it's called um little little logistics um this is oh this is for a barge i thought maybe it was for rails oh it looks like it might be whoa i was trying to push w to because it's got to ponder like it's from create uh -huh. It looks like create. Uh, so it must have something to do with create. Oh, look at that. You can have little waterways uh, to do stuff. Hmm. I don't know, you know, if it was just another mod, but 
don't know that um, don't have a good foundation or create. Um, I mean, I have zinc <laughs> and I have andesite, but I don't have any of the uh, doodads to make stuff. Uh, darn it. <laughs> I wanted to do the stuff with things, uh, but this isn't it's not rails it's like a barge i thought it was just rails and rail stations and stuff Let's see oh they have thermal locomotion what is that just rails oh there's what Nature's aura has rails. This is crazy. Britannia has spectral rails. And Create has rails. I don't know. I just, I want to do... It was really hard watching uh, Direwolf <laughs> play with the drones. I want to do something with drones so bad. Um, but I also want to do something with rails. You can do some really cool logistical stuff in vanilla Minecraft using just vanilla mechanics. Um, so it would be cool to to utilize some of that in a modded thing. Resmarine okay. detector rail, resmarine rail, lumium rail. Um, so let's look at the thermal locomotion. That looks interesting. Is it just rails? Oh, they have uh, underwater minecarts. Minecart with inferno explosive, glacial explosive. Yeah, they do have lots of explosives that they. P and T. I don't know what that stands for, but. I don't know. I just thought it would be cool to have something moving around, uh, you know, on its own. <laughs> on its own power automated instead of uh me doing it or just having one block that does everything uh because that's kind of boring just having one block oh look i just made this block and now i won the game it does everything for me <laughs> i want to make it look cool and and be functional and cool at the same time i know i know i'm very uh very demanding of my Minecraft. So, dude, I really wanted to do drones, so maybe I will. I just hooked, and I just hooked up all the, I think I did, I think I hooked up all my pneumatic craft stuff again. Uh, it didn't really take a lot once, once I got it in place. Yeah, so I got this hooked back up. Um, see, we're, we're taking 25 channels. Uh, and it's got my charcoal over here. So that guy's going. And I got this uh, hooked up. So it's sending charcoal in here, which is running my uh, pressure chamber. And my automations that I have over here, we do have a little bit going down for, uh, <laughs> I know you need these turbine blades to make them. So like a drone, you would need uh, turbine rotors, which are turbine blades. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And you need a finished PCB. So. Um, we got this down because I think I have the turbine rotors on AutoCraft as well uh, because that's just, let's see, 
Um, yeah, there it is. So it would be no problem to set up a drone. But um, I do think I have to have like a, a programmer. Drone interface. Um, oh, and dude, I'm going to have to going to have to put back my uh see i i had these uh armor stands everywhere uh so that i can easily switch my armor out i go why you no go bro um is that not working Haha! -ha. <laughs> um, I wanted that over there, but and where's my minigun? I put it on the stand. Put it on the stand, and now it's not there. Um, well, it was the minigun's cool, but I prefer my bow uh, because it takes a while to charge that minigun up. So, yeah. Um, you need, uh, Dire pool, put like a dispenser upgrade in his helmet and that would allow him to debug the drones, which would be handy dandy because programming is, uh, <laughs> it's very hit and miss. I mean, it's a lot of, not hit and miss, but trial and error. You gotta do stuff to figure it out. If that makes sense. So let's try and, now that we have our pneumatic craft stuff on, uh, let's try and prepare to make drones. Because I'd probably, I'd only have a few minutes left. And um, it's not going to be enough to, let's do at new. Um See, this is what I don't like about the AE system, is I can't refine my search. I can do pneumatic craft, but if I go to type in something from pneumatic craft, like drone, it comes up over here, but anything that's in my system, I can't see. Uh, it just gets uh, zeroed out as soon as I push the space. <laughs> so... That's no good. But I don't, I know I don't have any drone stuff in here right now. So, um, let's look at the dispenser, dispenser upgrade. I don't think I have this on AutoCraft, uh, but we might need something like this. So let's go ahead uh, and because you could put dispenser upgrades in various equipment too, um, and I think we'll need a dispenser. Um, can't you just do the thing? I kind of like, I kind of like this one because then you just have the ingredients and it's one, well, you would think it's one less step, but then you have to have the dropper recipe. Uh, so either way, you're going to have two recipes. And this way you have three recipes, put the dropper and the bow. Oh, so, no. Um, I think I'm going to just go with this one. And then we'll do the dropper the dropper. I don't know if I have a dropper. I don't think so. Looks like I got a furnace and a blaster. Ah, okay. See, I got uh, green concrete powder in there already and I have my fluid encapsulator on me. So I want to set that up too so in between episodes, I can start laying down some of the the green concrete powder. I hope it doesn't look bad. <laughs> I really hope it looks the way I have it envisioned in my head. Um, so let's make 
a dispenser upgrade. See, see what I mean? Dispenser upgrade. Where are you at, buddy? Right there. Oh no, dude. Um, it ate all my cobble again. Let's see. Thank you. I did set this up to, um, once it gets 10 singularities, it will shut this off. I'm hoping to see this because I don't want it to just eat all my cobble willy-nilly like it's doing right now. <sighs> okay, so I'm, I'm just going to shut it down for right now so that I can have some cobble. I, dude, I had... <laughs> I had a whole I started this the same time I started that one so I would have had uh 1.3 million cobble by now uh, but it ate it all so that's no good all right let's see if I have enough cobble to do this now Spencer, there we go. All right, and I should just be able to install this in my helmet over here. Um, and my uh, armor is being charged with the aerial interface, so that's always a bonus. So you go in there. Awesome. Um, now, what is that? Uh, drone? No. Um, I think it's like programming, programmer, programmable controller, or pro programmer. Maybe I need both of those. A program. A programmable controller is a machine you can use as a replacement for a drone. Program either a network API or drone and place it in the gear slot. At a rate of 10 milliliter air a tick, the controller will execute most program pieces. See excluded pieces tab for more info on what is not accepted. Items and liquids can be pumped in or out of the block, which is connected to the drone's inventory. A major benefit of this machine is that it involves no entity pathfinding, making it very suitable for large-scale applications such as quarries. That's kind of interesting, uh, but I don't think we need that right now. We still got to figure out this. So um, we don't have red dye, but I do have. Do I have to have black stained glass or just? It looks like it has to be, ah, yeah, you can see at the bottom, it accepts any forged glass panes black. So it does have to be black. Mm. I do have, a, do I have any dye over here? I have a little bit of dye. What about uh, black? I don't have like any black dye over here at all, but think in my other system, yeah, I do have some black petals and I have some black dye. So I can make uh, some glass. Do I do I make um, do I make glass panes or glass and then glass panes? Hmm. So here you can make black glass. Ah, so you can make black paintings. If I make, I don't know. I think I would just make the glass paints. So oh, we don't have any. Any. 
yes, I need to teach it uh, to make glass panes uh, while I'm at it. I can't believe I haven't set that up. Um, oh, I do have it set up. Well, I did, I did the thing. <laughs> I'm okay. All right. I think that's all we need. Programmer. That would probably take a good minute to get those to go through. Um, and I need the red dye. Fortunately, uh, I do have some red dye over here. Just need to, I really need to get, have so much I have to do uh, to get this thing going. Get my base going. What else is it missing? There's nothing there, so it's still waiting on these to finish. How's it going? Is it um, is it stuck or anything? Uh, it looks like it just made a rotor blade. Probably gonna pull it out. Oh boy, like I'm over. I'm over on time. All right, let's see if we can make this. Oh, what happened to my red tie? Did I put it back in? Oh, snap. Yes, coding 101. Oh, this is going to be so good. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to try and uh let's see. I probably need this guy down here somewhere. Um, I don't know. Does this need um air pressure? It uses puzzle pieces to define a program. I'm not sure if this guy needs uh, power. I don't think it does. Let's set it down and look. Um, I think what you do need is uh, a chest with the plastic pieces. Um, Puzzle pieces, puzzle, puzzle pieces, these. Oh, yeah, I'll need to automate that. Uh, so let's kind of get that guy going. Because uh, we have lots of plastic. Let's look at our plastic. Oh, 61. Is that 6.1 or <laughs> 61,000 <laughs> 61,000 plastic sheets. I love that. Okay. I love having enough stuff. It's a really good feeling. So now I can just say that's all. Um, get me 100. Oh, snap, slime balls. Okay, well, I don't really need to combine these <laughs> so that I can have access to all my stuff. All right, let's try this again. Yes. Um... Actually, it probably has to make all of the PCBs. Oh my goodness. Let's check it out. Is it making it? Oh, it's it's got to make the PCBs first. And then it's going to send it over here. Uh, now, I don't have this guy hooked up to anything. It's just got the 60... 
or charcoal in there. Uh, I haven't used it that much, so... Oh, I heard the pop, pop, pop. Oh, are you getting sent over here now? No? All right, let's... Uh, oh there it is ah oh, not a jigsaw <laughs> yes 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 um now we need a chest to put this stuff in um oh use a diamond chest boink boink all right so i can play around with some drones now and try and see if I can get some drones uh, to breed sheep for me. <laughs> that would be that would be great to get some wool. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and call the episode here. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.